Welcome back to the Fireball Fates Conquest Blind Run. Last time, we actually did something very unexpected. We rescued all the Hoshiden siblings from certain death on the Nor route. While we get the feeling that's just going to be a blatant hope spot and things are going to go downhill from here, as they probably will, because this next chapter... Nope, 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 game, you're not making me kill Carden. Not yet. Not yet. I am going to stall that for as long as humanly possible. And... Because of that, I'm actually going to be doing a paralogue this time. First I should check this. Okay, oh, uh, I don't think that was a full point. Oh well. Oh, I've missed this song. I love this song so much. Yeah, uh, as of this recording, I haven't actually played the game for a little while, so uh, I love this music. Anyway, let's talk to everyone. Huh? Okay, hi there, Kana. Oh, actually, Knorian Blade, that makes sense. And I could use more of those, actually. Might want to forge them. I did it! Sapphires? No, I'll check the lottery later. <laughs> Cows. Speaking of which... Oh, just wheat. <laughs> sure. Speed Thunder! Okay, I uh, haven't... I don't know what that is at all. I'll need to check that out. And that, I think, is everything. So let's go check out the lottery shop. And not win anything, most likely. Welcome. Oh, hi there, Leo. Interesting, seeing as well what we... Well, you just kind of executed someone, but you had to, otherwise... Oh, hey! Looks like your luck is looking up. I see. Bronze! Ah. Goodbye. Oh, well, I guess we can forge Dwyer's bronze dagger with that. Always look on the bright side of things. Oh. Perry, you sure you didn't... You didn't take that meat from... Fire disturbing means. Anyway... Okay, let's see. Speaking of meat, um... I'm gonna... Actually, your magic is fine. Let's give you speed. Kind of interesting. I just realized there are no luck-boosting nutrients, I don't think. So, I'm not sure how you go about boosting Lilith's luck. You know, I should probably boost Lilith's skill a bit, considering that, uh, that she has an offensive attack on this one. Speaking of which, it's ranked up. Yeah, I probably should be boosting her skill a little bit. Uh, we'll check out the uh, the face-looking room soon. First, though, I think I actually want to stop by the smithy, because I've got some things that I might want to forge. Thanks for stopping by! Oh, hello! <laughs> well, funny you should mention that. Uh, Arthur could actually forge an axe. I'm not using Gunter Steel Axe either, but I don't know if I really need a Forge Steel Axe. Though for Arthur himself, that might not be a bad idea. Uh, no, I don't want to get rid of Paris. Can I forge a dagger? Yes, I can! Okay, then. <laughs> well, Dwyer, eventually you will be able to win without trying. Now, let's forge this. So... Uh, hmm... Um, the other obvious reference with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody get lazy. Anyway, uh, Perry, nope. Oh, that's awesome! The fact that Arthur's a hero means we get sales on both axes and on swords. That's very useful. Actually, having a Master of Arms in the Forge would be great in, uh, in that sense. Uh, nope. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I don't want to get rid of Percy's. We only have an iron one. Yeah, actually, I can forge that Norian blade. Might be a good idea to do that, actually. I've got the crystals to do it. Um, Norian... Um, the first thing that came to my mind would not work on this route, so I will call it Norian... I don't know if I can fit this, but... Nope! What about small letters? Actually, computer science shorthand, where's an exclamation mark?
So, for those of you who don't have a computer science background, exclamation mark means not. So, yeah, that's a, that's Norian, not scum. Yeah, see, you, I want to forge that axe. And I think I'm going to give it to Arthur. See, I originally wanted to give Arthur a, uh, that does lower his, then again, Arthur's not really doubling much anyway. I was originally going to give Arthur a silver axe, but what's the might on this if I, not Charlotte's? Oh, wait a minute. No, I need to choose either Camilla or Charlotte's. Might 14. I think Silver Axe is better than that, actually. So for now, I'll just get out. Stay safe, citizen. Oh, we will. Thanks to that Norian not scum. Who's on the armory duty? What may I do for you? Oh, hi there, Jacob. Have you been here before? I don't know if you have. All right, let's see. Okay. Oh, we got a must seal. I should probably use that on someone now. I think about it. Um. Let's see now. I already upgraded Keaton. Um, so I was originally going to get a Silver Axe for Arthur. 16. Actually, that is equal, except it does. And Critical of 8 minus 5. Not a good idea with Arthur's personal skill. Could get him a hammer, though. That might help out. Though, will we be seeing armored units very much if we're going to be fighting against Hoshidor mostly soon? I don't know. Well, it won't hurt to have one of these. I can't wait until I get to give this to Percy. I can get that to Percy now, actually. Though I'm not really using him so much. You know what? I'm just going to get that hammer for him. Uh, anyone else? In fact, how am I looking at on starves? Oh, wait a minute. I think... keep My mind keeps changing topics, but I actually think that... Uh, where are you? There you are, Niles. Okay, um... Killabow, Ironbow, Minibow, Rubberbow. Uh... Is there a better... Shining Bow? Here you go, Silver. 15 Might! That's not bad. Does run... It will run me quite a lot of gold, though. But Niles' strength has not been that great, so... I might as well. That Killabow hasn't really been working out for him. Please, do come again. And who is on the staff store now? I think about it. Welcome. Let me just check something. Uh, okay, we've already bought out the master seals. Now, these tonics are probably useful in this route, but I'm not really that big a fan of them. Now, one in trap staff. In feeble is useful. I think I have some of those already, though. One more freeze. Oh, recover! We can buy recover now. Really, mend usually does its job just fine, though. Oh, uh, Niles needs a heal staff, actually. And I'll get a couple of mins. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Interesting way of saying that. You almost sound like a cowboy there for some reason. Now let me just check. Okay, what's that speed thunder that I just got? Speed thunder. Wait, what? What? Enemies within two spaces receive plus fives. What? Why? Why does that exist? Why does that exist? It's a tome that makes you die faster. Look at this, look at this. It has the same might as Missile. I know Missile Tain is exclusive, but... Also, you are getting the benefit of your three or more. Good, that is that is getting the benefit of it. Also, at least... Oh, your tome rank is still not up there. That's really frustrating. I can't wait until Elise starts using better magic. Then she will destroy everything. And I have so many embers that I should probably forge them, but I don't think I have the resources to actually do that. Okay, well, get rid of that. Do I even need the rub rubber bow anymore? Maybe not. Take a silver, and take that heal staff that I bought. Yeah, now the satyrs can actually heal people. I like that horse spirit on Odin, actually. Does anyone else need anything? Well, you... Okay, you... Oh, you're running low on staffs. Uh, actually, you still have Sun Festival, but... I don't really trust that. Yeah, let's get you another mint. And how's Elise doing? Uh, I think you're fine for now. And the real question is, I have a Master Seal. Who to use it on? I need... I'll probably want to be using Percy and Ophelia later in the game. 
And Dwyer, but I already master sealed him. Hmm. Yeah, Kazu, Kazu are already a master ninja, so you don't need anything. Ah. Uh, every child I get from now on is going to have a seal, so I won't need to worry about them. Laszlo, Perry, and Selena are three people that I'd like to upgrade. Selena's very far behind, though. Should I save one of them? Or should I save it for Percy or Ophelia? You know what, for now I'll just save that Marcel. Who has it though? You. Yeah, put that in the convoy now. Do we have any better shurikens, actually? Uh, Felicia's play- Uh, magic weapon, magic zero. Nope, bad idea. Hmm. Well, you could use some better swords. I don't know if we- Well... Could take the Norian Knot Scum. And Siegfried, that stacks with Siegfried, doesn't it? You know, for now, I'm actually going to take that. Because that's just when carried, and that's when equipped. So that will give you plus 7 defense, which uh, will be pretty cool, actually. Overall, I think I'm fine for the rest of. Oh, except you get rid of that. She's this close to being a C rank in bows. Oh, you still have your men stuff. Anyway, I think now we should go to the mess hall, and then I've got quite a lot of support to do. Yes. Hmm. Let's try strength and defense. Okay, don't screw this up, Sun. Whatever. Lena. It's about I to say. You need me. <laughs> what a fool. <laughs> it's not like I'm cooking you or anything. <laughs> Yeah, she, um, <laughs> addresses her food like that. Prickly steak sandwich. That doesn't sound appetizing. Let's try it. Right. Okay. What? Oh, did you realize who you're saying that to? <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Yes. Wow, if she heard you saying that. Okay, so it's average. Okay, females get speed plus one. Hmm, maybe I could actually use a Ophelia in the next chapter a little bit. Because I am starting to unlock more and more S supports. Not that I don't want to keep, stop using Charlotte, though her speed's been a bit... <sighs> yeah. Anyway, see you, Sundera. Is anyone else... No, there's no exclamation mark. I don't think anyone else is in the prison. Oh, speaking of using Charlotte... I can help. Yeah, you got the better defense there, Benny, but... I've got quite a lot of... I'll bet some Onyx, and let's see. I might regret this, but Charlotte, you go first. Strategist and a hero. Uh-oh, I don't know how good Charlotte's resistance is. Not good, apparently! You disgust me. Except this thing disgusts her. So, 44 critical, that is without a killer weapon. That's pretty amazing. So yeah, I have learned that you can actually forfeit with the X button, and you'll still keep your current wages. So I'll need to keep my I'll finger on the X button. You. you know what though, I think this is fine. Unless they get a 1% crit. Ow. I'm gonna tear you in half. And, well, yeah. <laughs> Why was Charlotte's critical so high before? 45 went straight down to 20. That strategist must have had virtually no luck. <laughs> oh, we all know what came over you, Charlotte. Don't try and hide your real self. Otherwise, it will turn into a monster and try and kill you. <laughs> if Persona has told me anything. Anyway. Ah, uh, standard Bond scene, I guess. Wonder if we'll get anything different, or he'll still say the bonfire line. So another event will happen at five. I'm annoyed that it's going to take a long time to max this, though. Your and same line. It's a pyre upon which I burn. I was trying to skip that for a second, but yeah. And there we go. Let's see who we can invite in. Kaze, Felicia, Percy. Oh, we haven't actually seen Nyx before. 
Admittedly, I I want to see this. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm also gonna get to hear more pit, which is amazing. Glad we're not touching his face though, because that would be really weird. Haha. <laughs> nice room. I'd bring Ace, but he'd never fit. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine my room just exploding from trying to fit a wyvern in there. And that's basically all we can do there. However, there is quite a lot we can do on the- wait a minute, first let's see if we can build anything new. Cal- So, we just stole some of Mokushu's technology, apparently. Seems like it works exactly like it does then. That's actually quite a wide area of Caltrops. Hmm. Now I've, okay, those woods were an absolute godsend in that invasion that I just did. Having Benny Turtle in those woods was amazing. You know what? Putting these in front of the Dust Dragon, man, I can't fit them there. Pfft. Putting these in front of the Dust Dragon might not be a bad idea, actually. Yeah, all I need to do is move one statue. So, statue? Yeah, in fact, I'm going to move all of the statues. Okay, now we can build the Caltrops, hopefully. Let's see you take down my Dust Dragon now! And we can make a third Golem. My Golem's been spectacularly useless so far, though. Yeah, I'll just put another Golem there. The Unheria Shop gives you a Void plus 10 in Castle Battles, which is really good, though. What can we upgrade? Okay, we can upgrade you, you, uh... Oh, yes! Definitely want level 3 Fire Orb, because something very, very important is going to happen after we do that. Definitely want that. And a level 3 Hot Spring! Wow, we may have a very eventful next chapter. Actually, get a level three sapphire mine and dairy as well. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade my first golem though. Let's hope you're less pathetic now. Actually, I can check that. Uh, what is it? If I go to wait, no, the castle menu. Uh, or wait, where is the car? Okay, there you are. Go to Street Pass Team and uh, check defenses. I can check out this. Okay, you got a lot better. Yeah, look at you compared to see. Yeah, these golems are completely useless. Completely useless. But this golem, you are a lot better. Well, you don't have much but strength and defense and. You're still kind of bad, but level three, I'm. I think level three, you might be quite good. You're gonna die very easily to magic, though. Anyway, we have lots of supports, including lots of S supports: Niles and Camilla, Azura and Kaze, and Laszlo and Perry. Also got a father-son support. Leo and Baruka, they're just setting a new record for um. <laughs> Yeah, one of them dies early and they still get a support. Also, we have Kamui and Baruka for some reason. Let's just do that one. Oh, I thought you were accepting hit jobs. Well, you see, taking care of weapons doesn't matter as much in this game because they're unbreakable. Yeah, Baruch is not one for chatting. <sighs> yes, we've got to know that you don't like meaningless chatter. <laughs> friend, friend does not compute. I am called emotionless assassin. I admit I am actually a little bit like Baruka sometimes. I really don't like it when people just come up randomly and talk to me without a real reason for it. 
Anyway, uh, hmm. Maybe I should do this one then. Well, when you say you'd kill anyone, even a friend if you got a contract, there's a reason why people avoid you. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that makes sense. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't really... I mean, their CB and A aren't as good from a romantic standpoint, but I've heard their S is very good, so I'll probably be doing that later. But anyway... It's time for coffee round two! Hahaha! <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's the one whose personal skill affects castles, so of course he is. <laughs> Please don't let this be Mega Man Battle Network style, you have to cook with love thing. That was really weird. Huh. Wow. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Well, well, he can handle himself in the battlefield quite easily. Uh, which of these to do first? Uh, maybe I should save that one for last. Well, we did get Niles first, so... How about this? Let's see. Wow, Camilla's strength, seriously. <laughs> Let's go! It's time for the two most seductive members of the army to seduce each other. Well, at least he didn't have to apologize naked. Wow. Oh, uh, well, yeah, you would be jealous if someone, well, was that disturbingly seductive towards their sibling. Yeah, Niles re never really had that kind of love growing up. Camilla? <laughs> Oh, Camilla, yeah. Yeah, it does make sense in a lot of ways. <laughs> and now she's the one seducing him. The seduction she was on the other foot. <laughs> wow, he's actually being caught off guard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I normally don't like pairings for comedy, but that's amazing. Those two are perfect for each other, seriously. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Does give a little bit of insight into, uh... Speaking of people who are perfect for each other... Yeah... Okay, I hope this is good. I'm sure it will be. Oh, I thought you said you said Mountain of Blood. Good thing it's not a Mountain of Blood. And yeah, considering how good of a cook she is... Yeah. Wow, Laszlo actually got a girl cooking for him. That's a first, probably. <laughs> Well, obviously, because, you know, I don't think I've ever seen him give that wink smile before. 
she's already a pro, trust me. If the missile is any indication, she is already a pro. <laughs> okay. You're not blushing? <laughs> wow, wow, Laszlo's actually wanting to get married. That's amazing. You do realize that means no flirting with other girls, right? Excuse me for a second while I treat my heart explosion. Yeah. Who'd have thought we saw him all the way back in Awakening? Who would have thought he'd be a dad one day? Wait a minute. But of course he's not the same person from Awakening. <laughs> yeah, they really could be. Yeah. I do like the way they got her immaturity across in the localization. It's better than, you know, the whole third person thing, which doesn't really work in English. <laughs> yeah. Well, they actually might be. Wow. Okay, yeah, okay. No surprises. I like that support. Unfortunately, that just spawned the controversial one. Uh-oh, when I get to that... Oh, I'm not looking forward to getting to that parallel. Oh boy, that's going to spark a whole lot of flame wars, isn't it? I'll probably give my thoughts on that, but yeah. Though from what I've read, I think the English localization has handled her character a lot better than the Japanese version did. But yeah. And people found new reasons to be controversial towards her. Anyway, let's just ignore that and uh, do this as support. I still think, yeah, Laszlo and Perry's their support's really good, yeah. Is it about having a secret crush? Oh! Oh, that is interesting! Yeah, especially when they're trying to kill us. Actually, this, the timing of this support makes sense, considering we just met them. I bet this support will be really awkward if you do this on the Nor route on a later time or an earlier time, but right after Chapter 18, it makes perfect sense. She just met them again. Yeah. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Heh. <laughs> Uh, Kaze, you actually could do that. <laughs> well, that is if uh, if if her nana doesn't get killed by Garen. And with that, once again, we unlock two power logs for the price of one. And I think, well, let's see. So we've got a lot more power logs now. We have Surprise Duet, we have Herbal Remedy, yes I do pronounce it that way. Ah, uh, yes, I've heard a lot of people really like Midori. So I want to try and get her as soon as I can. Oh, and this Paralogue has Candice! I've heard Candice is one of the most liked um, generic capturable bosses in this game. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be good. We also have Bright Smile! Controversy incarnate, Laszlo's daughter, repels a bandit attack while on watch. The Venet bandits return in much larger numbers. A tough battle lies ahead. Oh, seriously. A tough battle with controversy lies ahead. Oh, no. Anyway, Paralog 22, abrupt clash. The treasure group defend The group defends an, tre oh. an important treasure from a group of bandits. There was group a lot there. Niles takes charge of the defense plan, but is shocked to learn that his... Uh-oh. Uh oh! Cyrus, uh, Silas said there shouldn't have been any more father-child skirmishes, and well, he spoke wrong. 
Yeah, Nina I've heard is... I think I've seen her briefly before in a My Castle trailer on the official website for this game. Nina's also a controversial character. If she is the one that I think she is... Yeah. Then again, honestly that personality does kind of fit with her being Niles and Camilla's child. But anyway... I think I'm actually going to go out to surprise Duet and recruit, finally, Azura's son, Shigure. Now, let me give you a few heads-ups about this chapter. Actually, you know, I probably will do them in the next part, so uh, I'll fully explain myself next time. So, see you when I head out to this chapter.